It's crazy how it has been three years now since I graduated out of high school. When you start to grow up and you start to, I guess you could say, get older, even though I'm still young compared to a lot of people who are 40 or 50 years old, they look at me as a baby. And it's reasonable, right? Because I'm still young. But I always look back at my life back when I was a teenager, back when I was in high school. And I look back at basically the things that I did during that time or how I was during that time. Because that version of myself, the person who had just graduated out of high school, that person is not who I am right now. Whenever I look back during that time, I look back at the things that I wish I would have known during that time that I could probably tell someone else who is in high school right now that it could help them in their life. You know, there's a couple of things that we do during high school that we look back when we get older and some people wait until they're 30 years old until they look back and learn those lessons. But I'm actually looking back at this age right now, three years later after graduating at high school and I look back at during high school and I look back at the lessons that I wish I would have known during that time that would have helped me during that time a lot more during school and I know it can help you a lot on your journey in this school that is called life. Now one of the first things that I wish I would have known back when I was a teenager is that school is not everything and during that time I had that mindset that school was everything. I had the mindset that without school you can't succeed and you can't make it in life and there's no other option but school. And it's normal to have that mentality when you're in school because that's basically what you're told the entire time when you're in school. The moment you sit down on that musty ass chair, what is the first thing that you're told? Without school, you're not gonna be anything in life. And it wasn't until after I had gotten out of school that I got out of that mindset and I realized that there's way more possibilities in this world if I would have known that is not the only option that school is not the only option to succeed in life i would have done a lot of things i would have started reading books early during that time i would have started learning about skills that would have helped me once i got out of school i would have been way more ahead in life right now i'm talking about like in my own journey not in like someone else's comparing someone else's but i'm talking about like in my own journey like where i'm at right now i could have been way more ahead i could have been where i'm at right now the moment i got out of high school but I wasn't at that time because during that time, my mentality was different. I mean, there's a lot of people out there who go to school, they follow all the rules, they go to college and they do all these things. They get a job that has to do with the degree, but they're still living miserable lives. And the reason for that is because they're not doing what they want to do. And they don't think that there's a possibility to live a different life without that degree. And me, I never really wanted to live that life where I had to follow the rules of society and go to college and get a degree and work a job that I hate and live an unfulfilling and miserable life that I was never interested in at all. And I'm glad that the moment I got out of high school, my eyes opened to the real world and I realized that school is not the only option out there to succeed and to live a meaningful life. The second thing I wish I would have known back when I was a teenager is that not everyone is your friend. Especially when you're a teenager, you hang out with a lot of new people a lot of times because you're in school and so you're meeting new people. Especially when you go to a different new school, you meet new people, you end up being friends with a lot of these people who are not really your friends. They're just your acquaintances. Now, there are some people who are actually your friends. Like I've had friends who were actually friends, but I've also had people who I thought were my friends, but were just acquaintances. They were just people who wanted me around them for the time that we were there in school or we were together so that they won't feel alone or some way. But a lot of people that you meet in school are not going to be your friends in real life. A lot of people are not going to be your real friends. A lot of these people are just acquaintances. There was a point in time where I had a lot more friends than I did during high school, right? And during that time, I noticed that I wasn't myself. I noticed that I would do a lot of things that I wouldn't do right now. And I did it. I did those things during that time because I thought that it was cool to do. I thought that it was cool to try to fit in with these people that were my friends. I thought that I was impressing them. I thought that I was cool. You know, I had people around me sometimes who were not good influences. I also had people in, around me who were good influences, but not every single person that's in your circle is supposed to be your friend. Some of these people are going to be just acquaintances, just people that you say, yo, what's good, bro? And you know, about your day, like type of thing like that. You see in school how you walk down the hallway and you see your friend who you think is your friend, you say, yo, what's good, bro? And then you go about your day. Like some people are just that, they're just acquaintances. They're not real friends. And you got to really be careful with the people who you hang around with because they really do impact your life a lot. I mean, they really impact the habits that you have, the things that you do in your life, the way you act, the way you talk. I mean, I, I mean, I used to talk way different way than I do right now. I mean, if you guys were to see how I would talk back then, I mean, y'all would notice the difference of the way that I talk right now. And so you will get all these habits, the way you talk, the way you act, the things that you do. You will get these habits from the people who you hang around with. They have an influence in your mindset, especially when you're growing up as a teenager your mindset is just developing so if you hang around people who have negative mindsets and they're negative people they have negative influences that make you do negative things 
then you will most likely grow up with that mentality, a lot of negativity, a lot of negative things. You end up doing drugs, you end up drinking, you end up doing all these bad things that you're not supposed to do. And then you end up going to jail for doing something that you weren't supposed to do because you were hanging out with these people that were not good influences on you. So you gotta be careful with who you hang around with when you were growing up as a teenager and realize that not every single person is your friend. Some of these people are just acquaintances and you should keep it that way if they are not good for you, if they're not influencing you in a good way, if they have bad influence on you, and they are most likely to leave you in a road where it's not a road you want to be in. Every single person that you hang around with, you got to watch how they influence your life. Are they influencing your life in some positive way or not? If they're not influencing your life in some positive way, you got to get rid of them from your life or at least trim down the time that you spend around with them. At least slowly start to move yourself around away from them because you don't want to be around negative influences. You don't want to be around that type of energy because you don't want to end up being that type of person yourself. You don't want to be negative. You don't want to be around negative people. So if you don't want to be negative yourself, don't be around negative people. And this third thing also plays hand in hand with the second one that I just mentioned. Stop trying to impress people you don't even like. I remember when I was in school, bro, I used to do a lot of things, like I said, right? I used to speak a lot more differently. My vocabulary used to be a lot more different. I used to curse a lot way more than I do now. No lie, like, I'm not even joking with y'all. Like I used to sag my pants a lot when I was a teenager. The majority of the reason why I would do that is because I was trying to fit in. I was trying to act cool. My pants were all the way below my ass cheeks. The only reason why I did this was because I wanted to fit in. I wanted to act cool. I wanted to be part of the group. You shouldn't try to act cool to people who you don't even like, to people who you don't even see yourself hanging around with in the future. This habit of trying to impress others who you don't even like ends up developing when you start to become an adult. And then when you become an adult, you end up buying these fashion designer bags, these fashion clothes, these expensive clothes that you can't even afford, but you're buying it with the last check that you just got because you're trying to show it off on IG or you're trying to post it on another social media app or you're trying to show off to your friends in school that you are rich or you're wealthy and you're wearing all, you're wearing all these expensive clothes that you know that you, you can't really afford like that. You know that you don't really got it like that, but you're trying to buy it because you're trying to impress the people you don't even like. And this habit ends up developing when you start to get older. I mean, this is why a lot of people, when they are older and they're 25 or 30, they get themselves into so much debt by buying these expensive cars that they, they can't even afford really. They can't even buy it in cash full. So they take out these loans to get this expensive car. They take out a loan to get an expensive house just so they could show off to other people so that they could try to impress them. And they end up getting themselves into a deeper hole by putting themselves in all this debt so you can impress those people who don't really care about you and you're trying to impress them, who you don't even like. Don't try to impress people, don't try to fit in. Just be who you are. And if that means you're gonna have less friends, then so be it. I mean, it's better to have less friends during school than to have like 30 or 40 people in your circle. Because I'm telling you, I've been through that part where you have a lot of friends and the more friends you have, the more chances you are to be involved in some sort of drama that you're not supposed to be involved in. You literally have nothing to do with it. But because you're friends with this person, you're involved in that drama either way. So during that time when you're growing up as a teenager, it's way better to have a small circle than it is to have a big circle. Think about it. The popular kid in school usually gets in so many fights, gets in so much drama. You don't want to be involved in any of those things when you're just growing up. That's hella stress. I mean, I saw it myself. The most popular kids in school ends up being in some sort of drama and fights and all these different things. You don't want to be involved in any of those things. So it's even better to be the less known person in school. Even if you have least amount of friends during that time, I think it's way better to have a small amount of friends during school than it is to have a larger group of friends. If I would have known these things that I know now, back when I was a teenager, I would have been way more ahead of my time right now. Think about it. Not a lot of people your age, like as a teenager, not, not a lot of people are watching these type of videos or are trying to improve themselves in any way or are trying to secure themselves a better future. I mean, a lot of teenagers right now are doing a lot of things that have nothing to do with improving themselves or actually securing a better future. So the fact that anyone right now who's young and is below 18 and is watching these type of things and are learning these lessons early on, I mean, you're gonna be way ahead of the curve. You're gonna be way ahead of me once you get my age, once you get out of high school, you're gonna be way ahead of everyone because you decided to take the time to learn these lessons that could help you in your life right now. But anyways, that's all I gotta say. I'm out.